stillness and blessing, family. Love and light, health and wholeness. We're still in the aftermath frequency of this harvest full moon vibration. So I'm continuing these, this three day follow up, completing my uh, fire ritual in behalf of the collective, the cleanse, the purify, transmute all negative energy. We ask the ancestors and angels and spirit gods for protection from all negative and lower vibratory actions and forces. We're out in nature, outside, so life is happening around us. We have to be, we have to learn how to distract the distractions because life is going to be happening. So our meditation is important. It trains you to, it allows you to train your mind to be alert and aware and the conscious of itself and what's going on within and without. That's a 528 hertz frequency per tone. We have the crickets higher in the vibration through their, through, through their, natural, through their natural sounds. Stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness. We give all outer worries to the flame to be transmuted to pure positive energy. Thank you. Namaste. Greetings, family. Stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness. Now that I, I trans, we transmuted from the from the flame to the to the flesh. I hope everybody in the um, best of well-being, highest vibration possible, living your best life at as possible at this time. Um, I got a few brief four words before we go into the message because uh, it may be a little lengthy. I don't know how, how lengthy it may be, but at, at, at also we're racing against, uh, you know, natural, natural daylight. Uh, but what's been on my mind is these children, man. We got to protect our children. We got to protect the children in our community. And, 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 and we got to, we got to, we got to, we, we, we got to, we got to be aware of what's going on with the children as a whole, because it's too much, it's too much. It's too much taking place with, 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 with the pedophilia, with the kidnapping, with the human trafficking. You know, we're responsible for our communities. Um, they, are, they are all our children, man. You know, my, 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 my personal child is grown, but, you know, I, I, I link up, I contact, you know, with children, period, man, in the community. You know, playing, it, pl playing in the streets, you know, we got to correct them when we're seeing it wrong. We can't be scared to speak up. You know, it's um, it's, it's too. It, it, we allow we allowing ourselves as a whole. We allowing we allowing ourselves as a whole to watch others straight and do nothing about it. And that needs to stop. Um, but other than that, I'm having a good day, and I hope y'all is too. You know, um, the energy from this full moon has been, you know, very gracious upon the collective. You know, according to a few weeks ago, so. I hope I hope it's affecting y'all the way it's affecting me. Um, let me see what 
a gun. Speak life over your life. Speak life over your life. And when I say speak life over your life, I don't mean, oh man, I gotta pay my bill. Oh, oh man, this, this, this person talking about this. Oh, no, speak life, speak positivity, speak, speak, speak creativity, speak inspiration, you know, speak motivation, speak life. Life giving things over your life, man. I know times be hard, but we gotta train ourselves daily to speak life over, over our life. Uh, 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 and, and feel good for no reason at all. It's, it's necessary it, it, and it's healthy. Um, contemplation for, for, for this Sunday. Can you be patient when you are faced with that which is beyond your understanding to comprehend? Can you be patient when you are faced with that which is beyond your understanding uh, to comprehend? Can you be patient with me to learn from you by allowing me to share these insights? Life only becomes difficult when we refuse to move with it. Life only becomes difficult when you refuse to move with it. Never allow external situations to master you inwardly. Take your power back. Other than that, Shout out to all my um, fellow light workers and the family, you know, who is helping other people become their greatest version. With that, we're gonna proceed into the ADK loop, law of life, ADK loop, law of life. And we're on page 171, and the section is sustaining power. Sustaining power. Human will can never permanently sustain anything. Although at the beginning, it is the outer will act. Human will can never permanently sustain anything. Although at the beginning, it is the outer will act. But the presence is the only permanent sustaining power. So what that says to me personally is, you can't keep nothing by force. <laughs> can't keep anything by force. And then if you do possess something by, by, by force, it's probably, you know, gonna tear up, or if it's a human being, they're gonna walk away, you know, or, or so forth and so on. Or somebody else will take it from you. Not one thing can be sustained without your own effort. You call the source into action. Call to have your affirmations sustained. Remember to sustain your affirmations daily. Remember, remember to speak on your affirmations daily. To have them sustained, you must stand by them, refusing to accept doubt or fear or any negative action. Can't be a doubt in town. Such actions should be repelled by creating and holding an attitude of non-acceptance in the feelings. You can, call your, you can call your higher self into action to transmute them. Why is there the need to repeat the things that we have already should have learned a lesson from or repeat the things that we have already asked for to be sustained? Reason being is because we do not sustain them in our consciousness especially in the feelings. So the more you do it daily, the more it become habit. And then the more, 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 more it become habit, the more it become second, second nature, just like breathing. You don't have to think to breathe. When we have radiation from the masters, the reason we don't sustain it is because the substance from the outer world moves in on us again. We're always, life is always happening. This is what I mean by life is always happening. You know, so, so, I'm gonna leave it at that. Life is always happening. So we have to discipline ourselves to be aware of ourselves in, in accordance with what is going on in the outer, outer world. <clears throat> the actions of light are only sustained by attention. And the vision and feeling or desire is the self-sustaining power when one can but be conscious of it in your use of it. This is an action of the presence, the highest source, 
God, whatever you call it. When the presence again controls the individual's thought and feeling instead of the outer self, and that's when you're just in the flow. Then to know the higher self, your source, God, is the only way you have a is the only way you will have a sustaining power. To know your higher self is the only way you will have a sustaining power. Everything that you gain in your call to the to the higher self is a permanently sustaining thing. Everything that you gain in your call to the presence is a permanently sustained thing. It is one thing to know a thing in the intellect, but to sustain it, to be able to hold it in your feelings is quite another thing. After giving a decree or affirmation, one can say to the presence or your higher self, keep it sustained and expanding in my glory and perfection. Everything in life is application. Everything in life is application. And everything in life is energy. This understanding of the law, the use of the sacred fire, which the cosmic law has at this time permitted the great masses to bring to the knowledge of the people, the masses enables us to begin to make conscious application which brings results, mastery. Everything I do has a message in it. This application of the use of the sacred fire is practical. The law does not apply itself. You must apply it to get results. Just wishing won't do it. Application. The words, I am, as used in the English speaking language, not the equivalent in some other tone, should always be used for greatest results. The most positive thing you can say after you say I am. Never say nothing negative after I am because what we speak, we, we, we attract things through, through, through our speech. We attract things through our thoughts. So you want to think positive as possible regardless of what's going on. First, it is necessary to call forth protection against wrong vibratory action, which I did in the beginning, which is about us all in the very atmosphere, especially in large cities. I'm gonna repeat that, rewind. First, it is necessary to call forth for protection against wrong vibratory action, which is about us all in the very atmosphere, especially in large cities. In your application, you alone can win the victory. Mastery is only gained through self-conscious effort. I'm gonna repeat that. Mastery is gained only through self-conscious effort. Mastery is gained only through self-conscious effort. Your effort is in your attention and application. Take certain application and hold it to it so as not to lose your centralized focus of power. Focus. It is not possible to transfer from one to another what one's own application must release. No more than one can eat for another. Your effort is the commanding presence of life, the lesser life calling to the greater self or life. Your effort is the commanding presence of life, the lesser life calling to the greater self of life. Mankind having turned away from the light, the law, demand self-conscious effort on their, on their part to gain and return and attain their eternal freedom. Mankind, having turned away from the light, the law, demand self-conscious effort on their part to again return and attain their eternal freedom. This application is much more efficient than prayers. Prayers are usually supplications to an omnipresence, whereas decrees are acknowledgement of the presence in oneself as the acting intelligence which is all power and authority. Prayers are usually supplications to an omnipresence, whereas decrees are acknowledgement of the, of the presence within as the acting intelligence, which is all power and authority. A decree is commanding the powers of light into action. There is a big difference in the feelings 
and a tremendous difference in the release of power. And this is what brings results. You have to make your maximum effort. You have to make your maximum effort. Then assistance can be given. When your application, your incentive to make application, it is your life. Desire is God in action. But desire qualified with human quality becomes human desire. Your application brings forth power of life. Always give first and most love to your own, your own higher self, your own God presence. Always give first and most love to your own higher self. When you put the presence first and foremost in all in all things, you you when you put the presence first and foremost in all things, the things you require are at hand. When you put your put source first and foremost to all things, then the things you require are at hand. Your call to the presence is the key that releases the light. Pour love to the presence. That is the golden key that opens the door. Every time you think of the presence, feel that inner happiness pour out. Try to get the consciousness of the presence being the door. In everything you do, acknowledge source doing it. Giving conscious recognition to the source doing everything through you. It is not me that do these works. <laughs> it is my mother and father and the ancestors that do these works through me. <laughs> Practice definitely three times a day, accepting for a few minutes the perfection of the presence. Just meditate for a few minutes. And then it'll, and then it'll build up. I know we got life happening all the time, but take a few minutes each day. Students must come to feel more secure in your application. You gotta believe in that which you know. That's the only way you're gonna feel secure in it. You gotta know that which that which you know. That's the only way you're gonna feel secure in it and, 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 and gain power from it. Contemplate, meditate the source at night. Keep feeling of it before you go to sleep. That's your power. Individuality and in groups. Be an indiv an individu an individually and in groups, be conscious. We're gonna pause for a minute, y'all. We back, family. I had to reboot and regroup. We're getting too dark out there. Uh, individually and in groups, be conscious of being encircled in blue flame as you do your application. Individually and in groups, be conscious of being encircled in blue flame as you do your application. You should be so firm that not once does your feelings waver from the time of making your, your, appli your application or your call until its manifestation appears. When you start to make your applications, stand by them until your answer comes. When making application, remember the imperative need of firmness, firm, determined, unyielding application, and acceptance, allowance, abide in the activity and the wisdom of the presence, your higher self. You cannot be halfway about a thing and get results. The difference between repeating a decree and one of instantaneous manifestation is that by repetition, one gains conviction in your feelings and a momentum which students in the outer world are now starting to apply the law will have to gain while the one who has instantaneous results has already the feeling and momentum and gives decrees only when the action is required. You must be sure in your feelings that source is the door for results. People ask, why the need to repeat decrees? Think. Why the need to be why the need to be repetitious? Think. How many times do you suppose one must have repeated negative and wrong words? So you got to put just you got to double up. You got to do just as more work and, and positive thought and positive speech 
to nullify all the negativity that may be built up. How many times do you suppose a person has repeated negative and wrong words, statements, and acts to produce the conditions from which you now seek relief and freedom from? Now we have to repeat day after day to build a momentum that will eventually overwhelm and transmute all that negativity that don't been built up, the wrong conditions that don't manifest it from them. Momentum is a tremendous thing. In the outer, how are laws made? By talk, talk, and more talk until results are secured. For instance, by Congress. Through negative expressions, mankind have created their limitations and distresses. Disease, limitation, imperfection, in one's world is energy definitely qualify and you have to command it to change and be perfect. Disease, limitation, imperfection in one's world is energy definitely qualify and you have to command it to change and be perfect. Issuing a decree three times a day is to penetrate the mental, the emotional, and physical planes, one for each. Issuing a decree three times is to penetrate the mental, emotional, and physical planes, one for each. With that, stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, ask questions. If you would like to donate, it's dollar sign S A I W O O D A G O D. That's dollar sign Sawu the God. Um, I'm working on some things, you know, to bring some more things to the table and 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 and, and it should help with the messages, you know, uh being comprehended and things like that and more entertaining. So um, for those who rock it with me, just keep rocking with me, you know, and uh, spread the word and spread the word. And uh, we're going to build, we're going to build it up, you know, as, as we build up. Once again, stillness and blessings, love and light, health and holiness. Y'all stay up. One.